Hi there, Lee Creek Sarnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. I just want to cover a couple of quick ways of creating this holographic uh, tray style effect using the facing ratio shader. Okay, so we've got a robot scene here. I'm just going to assign a standard surface shader to the robot head. Just call that hologram. We need to connect a facing ratio shader to the opacity of the standard surface. We're going to use a multiply shader first, that way we can multiply the facing ratio with a blue colour. Give it a look at a light blue colour here, and then connect the facing ratio to the input two of the multiply. Start off a render. Now we won't see anything because we don't rely on lights for the for the shading technique. Because we're going to use emission. So go to the emission and just increase that to one emission weight. Okay, now if we go back to the facing ratio, we want to invert the effect. And then you can exaggerate it by reducing the gain and increasing the bias. Okay, so that's one style. Let's try something a bit more sophisticated. We'll connect it to the emission color this time. So disconnect from the opacity and change the opacity to one. So we see something rendering. And then connect the multiply to the emission color. And now if we increase the transmission weight, because we're no longer using opacity, we should get something like this. If it's looking too busy, you could always reduce the transmission weight. Or even go down to the advanced and reduce the indirect specular. Should make it look a bit cleaner. Also, go into the ray depth settings and reduce the transmission ray depth. Reduce the number of transmissive rays. Should also render a bit quicker. Okay, so finally, let's create a glow, a bloom effect using a lens effect. So we increase the strength and maybe reduce the threshold and increase the radius. Something like that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.